Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kirsty Renee here back at it again with another video for you guys. Oh. It's summertime, summertime. And therefore that means that we need to be taking a little bit extra care of our body in the way that we smell because you're going to be sweating more, you're going to be moving more, it's going to be hot, that body odor is going to be turned up a night. So I'm going to go ahead and get y'all right because I don't want none of y'all smelling like this lady that I just smelled not too long ago. Nobody deserves to smell like that. Nobody. Nobody walking this earth deserves to smell like that lady. So, we're not even going to talk about it. We're just going to get into it. First things first. All right, so it's the summertime and you want to be able to take care of your body. That means you need to be showering. Showering is very important during the summer months. Showering is always important, okay? But definitely during the summer months, which means you cannot just take a shower at night, get up in the morning and get dressed and think you're going to be okay. I mean, some of us will, but if you know, if you know you ain't fin to be okay, you got to take a little bit extra time in the shower. Therefore, that means... When you take a shower at night, don't just hop up in the morning, throw some clothes on and go. Wipe up a little bit. Get a soap and some in a rag and wipe up. You need to be washing at least twice a day. One time in the morning, one time at night. Repeat it again the next day. One time in the morning, one time at night. Repeat, 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 repeat. Let me let y'all in on a little tip. Bar soap is better than body wash. I wouldn't say that it's better, but... For a longer lasting scent, something that's going to stick to you, I'd rather you use bar soap during the summer months. So if your body wash like me, I use Dove Original and that comes in a scented freaking, and that comes in a bar soap. Dove Original Body Wash comes in a bar soap. So I like to use both, whether it's winter or summer, it doesn't matter to me. I just like it because the scent is going to stick to you longer from a body soap versus a body wash. Now, let me mind you, a body soap, a body bar soap is going to dry out your skin more than a body wash. But if you want that smell to be emitting into the air you need to use a bar soap versus a body wash it's just not going to be the same okay and if you can like i think i said this in another video use men body wash like if you're a woman it's okay to use men body wash i wouldn't really use anything that smells too much like a man but ivory spring irish spring whatever the thing called the one in the green bottle i'm not sure i don't really use it but i know that that it has a very strong scent you need to be using very strong scented body wash that is good for your skin not bath and body works not none of that that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the irish spring because that stuff lasts like if you wash off and then you put your clothes on, like you're going to be able to smell it throughout the day. So Irish Spring, body wash or body or bar soap, whichever one, or I think it's another one, Dow soap and it's, it's something else, but anything, anyways, bar soap just lasts way longer than body wash. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is in the store in I believe it's in um, any store, but I've, I always see it in Walmart because I'm always in Walmart. But in the deodorant section, they have these little wipes. They have these little deodorant wipes. You need to get you a pack of those deodorant wipes just so that you can freshen up during the day. Especially if you have big chest, women with big chest, women with lots of folds. You know, you're heavy set and you have lots of folds. I would recommend that you get those... Um, those deodorant wipes just to freshen up during the day because if you're heavier you're gonna sweat more you're gonna have more of a smell and it's just not good for you another thing that i'm going to tell you guys to do is make sure that you are wearing cotton panties during the summer months you should always be wearing cotton panties but definitely during the summer months I would recommend you using cotton panties because your vagina so that your vagina can breathe because if it's not breathing you're going to be sweating and I think I said this in another video at night try not to wear any panties wear like a pajama gown or like pajama pants to bed something that's freeing you or men's boxers like I said I wear men's boxers at night most of the time or cotton panties or sometimes I don't wear any panties I just wear like a nightgown or some bed pants I don't like too much clothes on when I go to sleep but I like for 
for my vagina to be able to breathe. So I would definitely recommend that you put on either some boxers, wear a pajama gown, or wear some pajama pants in some way. Something that's big, something that's not tight. I would not recommend you wear panties when you go to sleep because your vagina is going to sweat. And another thing, every time you go to the bathroom, and y'all just me, these are my daughter ones, but... These can do flushable cleansing wipes. It doesn't have to be can do. They make the adult ones. You can buy it during, buy the tissue. You can buy it in the hygiene aisle. You can buy it anywhere. And just after you use the bathroom, just go down there and just wipe up a little bit. Like your vagina is going to sweat. Wipe your butt. And please, y'all, I know this is a little TMI, but y'all got to take care of y'all, y'all dairy air down there. So when you're in the shower, focus on that, especially with that bar soap. Get that, get that rag lathered up and just scrub it really good. Get it all up in the rim. Like, come on now, y'all. Your butt stinks, okay? Y'all know what comes out of there. Your dairy air smells. So just pay close attention to that when you're in the shower. And don't don't skip over that. Like, that's nothing to skip over. Make sure when you're shaving, you get in that area too. Because, like I said... Look what comes out of it. Like, especially if you got hair and stuff, like, y'all, it's going to stick to the hair. Like, just don't do that. Do not. It's a disaster waiting to happen. I don't want to get too much into that because it's gross. And y'all are grown people. If you're watching this video, if you were able to click this video, nine times out of ten, you're grown, okay? The people who watch my videos are between the ages of 18 and 25, okay? So I know y'all grown. And I know y'all know how to wipe y'all butt. And y'all should not be smelling the way some of y'all be smelling. Like, it's unacceptable, period. So I'm sorry. I have to do this video because it's summertime. And I'm trying to enjoy my summer. I'm not trying to be passing out from heat and funk like i'm not i'm not here for it i'm sure nobody's here for it so as i continue other thing to take care of down there if you're a lady is to get you a pack of the always panty liners please put panty liners in your panties it's going to catch stuff like if you discharge or if you sweat a lot, like just put these in your panties and make sure that it's unscented regular. Y'all, these are 88 cents. If you can't find, if you can't afford some 88 cent panty liners, what are you really doing with your life? Like what, what is it that you're actually doing with your life? If you cannot afford some 88 cent panty liners. So you need the candle wipes or any kind of flushable wipes and panty liners, change them every time you go into the bathroom. Wipe, change, wipe, change, okay? Another thing, if you're a person who sweats a lot or just anybody in general, y'all, y'all know I told y'all about this before, but this is my body oil, y'all. It's called Pink Sugar. You can get it from the hair store. Any type of body oil, you can get it from malls, you can get it from basically anywhere i believe they sell them at like the flea markets and stuff like that and they sell them at the beauty supply store so i'm sure if they have it in my beauty supply store i'm sure they have it in everyone's beauty supply store and it's only like what four dollars three dollars i don't even know but it is well worth it especially if you sweat a lot like that thing is going to really emit into the air so during the summer months bump the body sprays bump the perfumes get you some good smelling body oil this one right here this is my magnet okay people be drawn to me with this when i put this on and i put this lotion that i have on like y'all i can't keep people away from me i have tons and tons they have another one that smells like baby powder and i'm sorry y'all it's a boy outside my window and he's fishing in the pond and i'm like what are you doing body oils are for summer Last but not least, and I hope that this is the last thing that I need to tell you guys. Make sure you are using a clinical strength deodorant. Telling y'all in the other previous video, I believe, here's the deodorant that I use right here. I use Secret Clinical Strength. Like I said, me personally, I just use it to get my pH balance back on track. Like, like under my arms. Like, if my arms start sweating a lot, I know I need to use this deodorant. Like, that's what tells me, Kirsty, you need to use this deodorant. Because, like, I don't really sweat under my arms. So, once I get this, that means, like, my pH under my arms are off and I need to get it back on track. So, I just use the Clinical Strength Secret Deodorant and voila, we back on track like never before. And, like I said, I just use this for a month straight. And then I go back to using regular Secret or regular Dove deodorant, whichever one. But, 
it smells really good it's going to help stop like if you have a sweating problem under your arm like this is going to help stop all of that sweating and it's just going to make you smell good and make your deodorant last longer when you do go back to using regular deodorant because like i said this deodorant right here can get a pretty pricey the clinical strength deodorant can get pretty pricey and i've heard that the native deodorant the native and that's like a really 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 expensive deodorant it's like twelve dollars but i've heard that that works really well also so if you don't want to use this you can also try the native one but i've heard that that one stains your clothes this one right here leaves your underarm looking ashy i'm, I'm going to tell you that i like to use the gel form one as you can see it's gel form and this is about all you need right here is two clicks and I said, you do not need to keep twisting and twisting and twisting. Two clicks is it. I'm telling you because you're going to have to sit there and wait on this to dry before you put your clothes on or you're going to have stains on your clothes. So I would definitely recommend you only click this two times. You'll be good to go for the rest of the day. Also, another good summer tip for your hygiene is to use Vaseline. Let me go show y'all which one I use. This is the Vaseline right here that I was telling you guys about in a previous post. It's called Petroleum Jelly 100% Pure Paraben Free Baby Love Baby Soft Scent Petroleum Jelly. I get this from the dollar store. It's only a dollar, the Dollar Tree, whatever you want to call it. This is where I get this from. And like I said, just rub it on your bikini lines in the crack between like, um, I don't know, but y'all know that little dip in between like your your vajayjay and your leg and it's like a little like dip right there like just rub it all over down there and that's going to help with like sweating and things like that um if you sweat a lot just in general once you get out the shower and you dry off just rub this on there i'm telling you it's going to make a difference especially if you sweat a lot between your legs just put this on there and trust me you guys you're going to thank me later okay all right and another thing is these two together my pink sugar body oil and my malibu heat this together is magic on wheels i'm telling you you will smell straight like candy if you love sweet smelling stuff and you want to smell like a a pack of candy like somebody just opened up a fresh sweet pack of the best smelling candy you ever smelt in your life here you go my secret i'm giving it to y'all because nine times out of ten you're not going to be able to find this lotion because Bath and Birdie Works never keeps it in stock, okay? But anyways, they should have it right now, so go grab them. But this, you would definitely be able to find anytime, anywhere. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope you take these tips with a grain of salt and run with it because you're going to need it for these hot summer months because, y'all, the temperatures have been reaching the 90s. I think it got like 100 one time and so I'm kind of like, oh, child, like, it's just too hot for me. Like, I'm about to have to go out in that heat right now. And I'm just dreading it, okay? So so therefore i'm definitely about to get myself all moisturized i'm definitely not wearing this outside no ma'am no sir i just threw this on real quick so that i can make this video because i remember that lady and i just had a mini little meltdown because she smelled really bad and i don't want any of y'all smelling like that all right you guys so i'm going to end this video off right now please give this video a thumbs up not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you can know when i post follow my social medias they will be listed down in the description box i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video